What's up, FOA squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Sunday to you guys. Well, guys, this is it. What do you think? Uh, do you like it? I absolutely love it. I think the more that I am in here, the more that I am in love with this uh, layout that I have uh, put together in this minivan. It is somewhat similar to my other minivan, but have some different things that I did not have in my other van. So I wanted to take a few minutes and share my thought process of why I have certain things in here and why there are there were certain things that I wanted to have in here that I did not have in my other minivan. So one of the things that I wanted to change was the color scheme. I've had the brown uh, for probably since I started van life, it was time for it to go. It did not match very well with the color of the inside of the van. So I went with this gray and white and black decor with a little pop of red in here with the microwave and everything. And I think overall it turned out uh, very close to what I imagined through a lot of trial and error. I came up with this and it feels roomy in here. I feel like I have adequate enough space to move around to get to things that I need to get to in here. And it just feels so much bigger. And I feel like I have a lot more space than I did, of course, in the SUV. So let me go over a couple of things that like I said, I have in this minivan layout that I did not have in my other minivan. First and foremost, it was definitely a must for me to have a microwave in this van because it gives me so many options when it comes to cooking. Not only the fact that I can now heat up my food when I cook something and eat it the next day, I can heat my food up very conveniently and eat it. I love having that option. The other option that I have for having a microwave in here is that if I don't feel like cooking, I can easily stop at the grocery store and pick up like a Marie Callender meal and heat it up in here. And I love Marie Callender meals. A lot of people don't like those type of processed meals, but for me, Marie Callender makes some really good uh, meals. So I can now buy a couple of those if I so choose to and heat them up in here. So this microwave is definitely going to be a big advantage for me to have. Another thing that I have in here that I did not have in my other uh, minivan is this. A toaster it was very important for me to have a toaster in here this particular time because one of the foods that I really really missed and was not able to have in here without a toaster and or a microwave was my pop-tarts I love those Kellogg's brown and sugar pop-tarts with a glass of milk oh my god it's a quick and easy breakfast for me. I eat. I ate those when I wanted a, a, a quick sweetness, and ah, uh, so I'm so happy to now. I'm going to be able. Of course, I can put them in the microwave. I didn't necessarily have to have a toaster for that, but having a toaster also gives me other options. I want if I wanted to make some toast, make a breakfast sandwich with uh, some toast or even if I just wanted to eat um, some toast for breakfast right quick you know options 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 you know and I wanted to make sure that I created more options this time around than I had in the other minivan now let's talk about some of the upgrades that I have in this minivan that I did not have in the other minivan Starting off with my power station, back in the days when I had my other minivan, you guys know I had that, what was it, the Yeti 400, something like that. My, oh my, have changed, times have changed. I went from a Yeti 400 to 
the Jackery 2000 Explorer Pro. You know, this to me, at, as it stands, is the maximum amount of power that I can have in this size vehicle. And I, it's working very well for me. It does so many things that I was not able to do in my previous uh, minivan. Also, I have a refrigerator in this van. I had the Zomatic refrigerator, but I ha never used it on a consistent uh, basis. So I can't say that I used it to my advantage, but having this refrigerator in here is, is the best for me because being able to cook in here and having your food in here, your refrigerated food in here, I mean, that that's that's amazing that's great and the fridge has been on 24 7 uh the jackery is handling it very very well that fridge only draws when it's on about 29 watts of power because of the setting that i have it on 32 fahrenheit on a low setting and because of the temperature that we are now experiencing outside the refrigerator doesn't come on probably once an hour for maybe two minutes or so. So it's not drawing a lot of power during this time of the year, which is amazing because I did have a concern at how I was going to keep the Jackery powered up on the road. I can plug it into my car, but we'll see. I'm, I've been paying attention and seeing how long the jackery lasts before i absolutely have to power it up and so far with the fridge only running on it it's about three to four days anywho another thing i have is these two baskets right here um one of these baskets are a catch-all basket where i have multiple different things in it like my dental stuff i have my water in there some water in there a uh, wash up tub in there, things of that nature. Anything that I didn't have a place for went into this first basket right here. The second basket that you saw was all my clothes or most of my clothes. I have uh, a sufficient amount of clothes to last for quite a while. Well, not quite a while, but you know, maybe a week or so before I have to do laundry. But it's really nice. My dirty clothes bag is along the side here. It's one of those net bags that doesn't take up any space. You can squish it even when your clothes are in there and it still would not take up a whole lot of space. Another thing that I wanted to point out was this little gray section that I have here. This little gray section along here up top. This minivan has a little console that goes straight from almost the front to the back here. These lights are so bright and there is no way that you can dim them because these lights up here coordinates with the lights on my uh, dash. So if I dim these lights or shut these lights down, I shut my lights down on my dash. So what I did was I took some of this non-stick or this non-slip uh, material that you put in your cabinets. I also have that alongside of my table here, right along here, and I'm hoping that that will dim the lights. I may have to put a second piece there as well. I will if I have to, because when you open up these doors in here, the lights come on. I'm telling you, it's like you click the lights on when you walked into your house. And I do not want it to be that lit up in here whenever I open up a door or so. I did yesterday, got some darker tint to the back window and darker tint to the front side windows to uh, give me a little more privacy. Now, one of the things that you do not see in here and you may or may not recognize or it was may not brought to your attention is that I don't have any curtains up. Now, I decided not to go for curtains right now. That may change in the uh, future. But for right now, excuse me, I'm gonna go with the tinted windows. I'm gonna be very mindful of where I park, the way I park, and things of that nature. 
to still remain as uh, stealth as possible whenever I'm out and about. Um, I am going to put um, some kind of separation here from across there. Only I will put that up when I'm sleeping because if you're looking from the inside of my car, from the outside, like walking by, you can see everything back here. But I'm also a little hesitant to do that because if I have something across there all the time and someone does look in there, it will give the sense that I'm hiding something back here. So I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it like that or not. I also love the fact that I can come from the front to the back and the back to the front without getting out of my vehicle. The main advantage of that besides not getting out of your vehicle is that it keeps the cold weather out, it keeps the hot weather out. So I don't have to open up this big door to come in or leave out, especially in the winter time. If I had to do that, man oh man, I would let in all that cold and that's how I had my other minivan because I had all that blocked off and I had to come in through the bigger door and I had to let all that cold in from the winter time. So, you know, you heated up your car from on your way to work or wherever. It's nice and toasty in here. And then I had to let all that heat out to get from the front to the back. So I didn't want to do that this time around. I... I also, I love the little nuances that I incorporated in this uh, layout so to make it feel much homier to me. Like this whole little section, this whole little section right here with the FOA Squad mat. Now that mat was supposed to be been down on the floor, as I said before, before I changed the whole color decor of the van. So I decided to stick it up in the window, buy a couple of other little pieces so that it can make it a little more homier. And I also have this small heater right here. I have this small heater right here. Now this, in the grand scheme of things, is not gonna be worth anything if it gets like really, really cold in here. So far, uh, the coldest night has been 37 degrees and it really has not felt that cold to me. Maybe it's because I'm a winter person, who knows? But I really, really, really love this layout. It's, it's not crowded, as I mentioned before, I don't want to put things in every nook and cranny of the van. I didn't want it to feel overcrowded. I didn't want to feel closed in. I wanted to feel the openness of this uh, van. And I think that I have accomplished that. And I don't know, even putting curtains up might close it in a little bit. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do that at all, but we'll see. I think I have placed everything in a place where I can easily get to. Now, the only thing that I do have to move to get to things underneath here is the microwave. I'll sit it on top of here, and then I'll get whatever I need out of here, and that'll be it. So, all in all, I am so, so pleased with this build. I absolutely love it. It was simple, and it doesn't look like, or it may not look like, I did a whole lot other than building the bed and this table right here. Now, let me mention, say something about this table right here. This is not the same table that you guys saw in a previous video where I had stained the table. I decided to change, not decide, it wasn't a conscious decision. What happened was the microwave and this uh, ottoman was behind the seat right here, the driver's seat. So the ottoman was sliding a little bit as I was driving. The microwave stayed on in place, but the ottoman was sliding. So I, Anthony, don't know where I got the idea that I can build a cabinet or, or some kind of shelving thing around it to keep it in place and then put a shelf in between and put the microwave in between. I got that all wrong. Let me tell you, I took the wrong measurements, went to Home Depot, got the wood cut and everything. 
came back to my spot, put the wood together, went to put it in between here, and why it was too short, and why the, the, the shelf piece of wood was too long, because I didn't take into account the thickness of the sides of the boards, which was one inch. So when I had the shelf cut, I should have subtracted two inches to account for the one inch sides of it so that the shelf can slide in. Not me. So then instead of throwing this wood away, the fresh wood, I decided to make another table, make it a lot shorter so that I can put the microwave and the ottoman right here so it can't move at all because the table is here and my bed is here um, I am going to maybe put a bungee cord around there I'm also going to put a bungee cord around here to keep uh, some of the things from coming uh, from out of there and I may even put a bungee cord around the refrigerator underneath the bottom portion of my driver's seat. So, I know some people are probably going to comment about that before they get to this part of the video where I said that I am going to bungee cord a few things down. Overall, guys, this, I love it. I love it. I'm ready to hit the road. I'm ready to, you know, be out there. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys uh, like the uh, new layout here, like the color scheme of it. Uh, but as always, thank you guys for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time.